This is the Secular Bible Study. I'm the Amateur Exegete. In our last video, we explored two related solutions to the synoptic problem, the two-source hypothesis and the four-source hypothesis. Both hypotheses rest on the notion of Markan priority, the position that of the three synoptic gospels, Mark's was the first to have been written, and that both Matthew and Luke use Mark's when composing their Gospels. They also both utilized a hypothetical document known as Q to explain those texts found in both Matthew and Luke, but not in Mark. But not all New Testament scholars are convinced that Q is needed to explain texts found in both Matthew and Luke, but not in Mark. In 1955, Austin Farrer wrote, On Dispensing with Q, and therein argued that Luke utilized not only Mark's gospel, but also Matthew's when composing his own. Farrer's view was expanded upon by Michael Goulder, and its main proponent today is Mark Goodacre. There are a variety of reasons these scholars believe Luke had a copy of Matthew's gospel available to him. First, not only is there shared material between Matthew and Luke, but Luke seems to exhibit some knowledge about the way Matthew has structured his gospel. Whereas Mark introduces his readers to an adult Jesus, both Matthew and Luke begin with birth narratives. And whereas Mark's gospel ends abruptly, with no appearances of the risen Jesus, both Matthew and Luke include extended narratives with appearances of Jesus to the disciples. Scholars also see Luke independence on Matthew in places like Luke 22, verses 63 through 64, where it appears Luke has taken the question from those who mock Jesus and beat him, who is it that struck you, directly from Matthew's account in Matthew 26, verses 67 through 68. New Testament scholars are in general agreement that Q did not include a passion narrative. If that is the case, from where did Luke get that line? Perhaps from Matthew. It is for these reasons and more that scholars like Ferrer, Goulder, Goodacre, and others see no reason to appeal to a hypothetical Q source. Rather, their solution to the synoptic problem seems a bit simpler than what we find in the two-source and four-source hypotheses. In their view, the first of the synoptic gospels to have been written was Mark's. Matthew then wrote, next drawing upon Mark. Luke then followed Matthew, drawing upon both Mark and Matthew. This then explains why Luke appears to be similar to Mark in many ways, but also why it appears to be similar to Matthew. This view is often referred to as the Ferrer hypothesis, after Austin Ferrer. We have now considered the major hypotheses proposed to solve the synoptic problem. We have now considered the major hypotheses proposed to solve the synoptic problem. Next time, we will begin to make the case for Markin priority. This is the Amateur Exegete, signing off.